Welcome to the channel. You're watching some old course material, some videos that I did for courses that I've done over the years. Um, enjoy. I just thought it would be fun to put them up on YouTube since they're just sitting here uh, not getting utilized. So you can take a look and see kind of the history of what I've went through to learn to market online using video, affiliate marketing, websites, and blogs. So enjoy the videos. Cheers. How's it going? Welcome to the YouTube Ranking Masterclass 2.0. My name is David J. Woodbury. If you're here, you probably know who I am. I've been a six-figure earner in affiliate marketing since 2015. A lot of people know me as the top affiliate for Ty Lopez, uh, although I do own about 70 different channels on YouTube, and I continue to build tons of different little brands, not only for myself, but I do help other businesses grow as well. So what we're going to do is I've realized since I put out YouTube Ranking Masterclass 2.0, or 1.0, excuse me, uh, that a lot of different people have come through the course. Um, the thousands of people that I've brought through my course have been a variety of different people. And so what we're gonna kinda focus on are local businesses. I have a lot of different local businesses inside my course that want to learn how to grow their local business in their town. Maybe uh, I've got some realtors and restaurant owners uh, as well as um, you know some sewing shops, uh, vacuum store, different variety of different people out there that are inside of my course wanting to learn how to rank to promote their business. So we're going to be covering that. And next we're going to focus on the hobbyist. So that might be somebody that just has a hobby and they want to share that online. So for example, my wife and I like to fly kites. Maybe you want to start a channel on just sharing your experience flying kites and you want to build a community you want to find some people to watch your videos and start growing that way uh, maybe you don't care about the money side of it and then there's also the affiliate marketers which I am and that's my business although I do have some hobby stuff and as well as I've helped local businesses as well but affiliate marketing is really what I've uh, you know dialed in for my own personal business because that's 100% what my business is uh, affiliate marketing and we're gonna dive into that as well as e-com. So there's a lot of people out there that have a Shopify store or uh, Amazon FBA. Maybe they wanna rank some of their products uh, to get more eyes on those products on Amazon. So we're gonna kinda of cover that aspect as well. So a, a few things have changed since YouTube Ranking Masterclass 1, um, although not a lot. Still, if you've watched my YouTube Ranking Masterclass uh, 1, I'm gonna leave all those videos uh, as bonuses on this channel because they're still very relevant to uh, what you can do to rank to help you get better results. So what we're going to start off with are local businesses. If you're a local business out there and you want to be able to rank videos, you want to be able to get eyes on that video so that you can get leads and then possibly sales. So we're just going to dive right in with a very simple method and you can do this right now. Um, what you can do is actually come over to Google and if you're a local business owner chances are uh, you probably have some reviews um, somewhere online so what we're gonna do is just search up maybe I am let's see maybe I'm a coffee shop in uh, we'll just say um, La Grande Oregon for example uh, we'll just search up coffee shop La Grande Oregon okay so we'll just show, we'll just search that up, and I'm just gonna find one really quick here. So we'll just grab Joe Beans Coffee, for example, um, and let's pretend this is my, uh, this is my store, my my coffee shop. Let's pull up, uh, pull up the website here, <clears throat> and we can take a look at it. Um, so it looks like a pretty good website considering a lot of bad websites out there. Uh, if you are a business owner, definitely you need a website. Uh, make sure to um, get a nice looking website is one of the first things you should do if you're a business owner. Let's go to about, okay, so it looks like it's just all on one page. So I'm just gonna take the website and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and then I'm gonna use a service called Lumen 5 and Lumen 5 is a service that allows you to create a video from any website so this is uh, you can pay for service or you can do shorter videos for free um, I just have a free account here right now and I'm gonna go ahead and create a video and show you how this process works so you can 
uh, get something out there right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this in. And depending on the website, this sometimes works well and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm just going to choose a couple options here and then we're going to let this process and we'll see what it comes up with. And what Lumen 5 does is it takes the information off the website and creates a small video for you. So this is a very good, uh, a very good example of, of what we can do with a small video. And I could go ahead and add a few more things or put some text in here, whatever I wanted to do. But this is very easy um, to go out there and create something out of a website. Maybe you have a blog for your business. You could do the exact same thing to start pushing video content onto your YouTube channel. So I'm just going to start off by doing this. I'm going to grab this information and we're going to go ahead and publish it. And then I'm going to go ahead and download it. And obviously, if you're uh, this business owner or the business owner working on the video, you want to spend a little more time making sure that all this is um, accurate. And what what goes on with Lumen Five is some of this some of this content is actually just copyright free uh, content. So you can use it, it. You know, it's built right in, so it's 100% royalty free. You don't have to worry about copyrights and all that stuff. Um, you can also add music over here to it on the left hand side uh, but we're just going to go ahead and just get right into the rankings i just wanted to show you first off if you're a business owner how to just create a quick little video that you can go out there stick on a youtube channel for some views and start getting rankings um, so let's see okay we got about four minutes remaining here so we'll just go ahead and let this roll and in the meantime I'm going to open up I'm going to open up YouTube. <clears throat> and we're just going to go ahead and do a quick search for Back to Google Coffee Shop, La Grande, Oregon. We'll go ahead and hit that again, and then you'll notice uh, under here we have uh, zero searches per month for this keyword using this keyword tool called Keywords Everywhere that I use. It's just a little plug-in right up here. Um, it is it is a uh, paid tool now. It used to be free. Um, it's only ten dollars though for one hundred thousand keyword searches. So if you search one hundred keywords per day. That would take you a thousand days to go through ten dollars worth of purchase so it's very worth it i suggest using this i've been using it since i started my affiliate business and i, I continue to use it every single day um, but what we're going to do is so this opportunity right here this doesn't always mean it's zero okay um, so when google populates uh, search volumes it goes off an average amount of, of searches so if it's a consistent amount then it should show a number right here. But if, say, there's 10 searches uh, this month, but three next la next month, and then zero the following month, it's very inconsistent. It it just means you get a zero here. You don't really know for sure. But for us as a business owner, this is a really good sign. Uh, um, just starting off because we can go ahead and create a video with this exact keyword and probably rank for it right away. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is come over to YouTube and we'll go ahead and open up one of my channels here. So we'll just go to, I'm just going to use this one for example. Uh, I don't think I have any content on this one at all. Let's go ahead and check. Yeah, no, I don't have any videos on here whatsoever. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you need to do. This video downloaded. Uh, so we can go ahead and open this up and we'll just let this play okay so this is a really a really good looking um, little video it looks very professional uh, maybe a lot better than you could personally do if you put your own face on there sometimes uh, some people some people are awkward when they first start on video 
um, just like I was back when I first started on video. I'm still kind of awkward now, but um, when you have a video that your that your customers are going to see, you want to make it somewhat professional. And what you can actually do is you notice how this comes up because this is the free version. You don't want uh, you don't want this on your on your video. So what I'm going to do, I just have this open in QuickTime Player. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and where is this tool here? Trim. Okay. So trim right here. So now what I can do is actually trim it back to about right there. Go ahead and trim that and then go ahead and click save. And then for the for the save name, I want to go ahead and use that exact keyword. Okay, and then for tags, I'm going to go ahead and put that same keyword again, um, just for the file save. So I can go ahead and click that and then save. Okay, so now it is saved. That took a little bit longer than expected, but we are done with the save on that. So now I can let this play. Uh, we'll just watch it one more time and we'll make sure that that logo is cut off at the end. And obviously, like I said, if you were the business owner, you would create a little bit longer of a video possibly, but this is really fine. Um, it gets the point across and maybe you could put your phone number or something on there, but you know, it ends with the share this video, which is great. So uh, people might share it. Okay. Now what we can do is go ahead and uh, open. If you're on a Mac, you can follow this example. On a PC, you probably have something similar. If not, don't worry about it. But what I like to do, tags. So go ahead and do that. So now I can just drag this into YouTube. So coffee shop, LaGrande, Oregon. I'll go ahead and capitalize a few of these letters. And then what we want to do is go ahead and copy that and put down here and then maybe put a tag like looking for the best coffee shop in coffee shop in La Grande, Oregon. You put a question mark and then what we want to do is go ahead and right before that go ahead and put the website address and maybe you have a landing page that just has an email contact form on it, whatever that may be. Um, you know, if you were a lawyer or something like that, you could have a landing page. But we're just going to go ahead and do this. I would always suggest uh, collecting leads somehow. So maybe have a pop up form on your website, push notification form. Um, that way, anybody visiting your site can actually opt in and you can contact them later. Also, on your website and landing pages, make sure that you have Google Analytics on there and any tracking pixels, any remarketing pixels at all that you can put on there. That way, anytime somebody goes to that site, uh, you can retarget them and create um, audiences that are similar to those people showing up. So later on, if you decide to do paid advertising, you can target those people much easier. So make sure to do that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead, maybe we want to copy a little blurb from the site. Um, let's go to about. We'll just copy this in here. Whatever you have to throw in, the description, the better. Uh, just do not keyword stuff. You'll notice some YouTube videos out there have keywords all through the... Um, through the uh, description, you know, like lines of keywords. Don't do that. That can get you actually banned from YouTube uh, because you that's like you're trying to play the algorithm. Uh, but we just want something simple in there like this. And then we'll go ahead, take this uh, keyword again. Tags don't really matter on YouTube. And really, it's because of the trending things that are going on with the algorithm. The algorithm's getting so smart that it really knows what people want to watch. Uh, so you can't just put tags to try to get rankings anymore. Although when you do put tags in your description, 
um, make it relevant, very relevant, and use long tail keywords like coffee shop La Grand Oregon, for example. Uh, and um, and and what we can also do is I use a site called Rapid Tags. So we're just going to come over here. And we're going to open up rapid tags and now what we're going to do is just use this tool for free um, and then we can put a keyword in here our keyword and we'll just see what comes up so this is going across youtube finding out some popular tags uh, and i'm just going to go ahead and copy this uh, you can see whatever this whatever populates here um, sometimes you'll get some weird ones so you can pull those out but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and leave them all in here because that's what was suggested to me uh, as well as we have our, our title keyword up here. Um, and then maybe we'll put we'll just add a little uh, hype at the end of that, a little clickbait. Maybe we'll put it in uh, those there. And then what we want to do is go ahead and create a thumbnail. Thumbnails are uh, really important for um, for people clicking on your videos. So try to make your thumbnails a little bit creative. Uh, for this example, I'm going to use a site called uh, Canva. Uh, I'm just going to sign up for a little... Uh, Sign up with email. I'm gonna sign up for a free account here and show you how this works. So go ahead and create this account. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go. If you're a business, you can choose business, but um, we'll go ahead and create a YouTube. You should see. YouTube thumbnail. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select a YouTube thumbnail. And then what I can do is maybe search up coffee shop. Uh, and you can use your own photo. But I'm just going to go ahead and drag this one on here. I'll just put something catchy in here. Let's do uh, the best coffee shop in La Grande, Oregon. Okay, and then I can go ahead and adjust this a little bit. Uh, maybe we want elements. Let's see what we got here. Let's search. Let's see coffee. And maybe we'll put these beans in here. Oh, that's premium. I'm going to go ahead and delete that one. I don't want premium. Uh, we'll go to the free ones here. Go ahead and use, use this little guy. We'll just throw that in there. Okay, so that looks really nice. Now we'll go ahead and just download this. And you can drag and drop your own files off your computer right on there and uh, go ahead and, and customize it. But I'm just trying to, for the sake of the video, uh, and like I said, you can just use any of these stock images you want as well. So I'm going to show this in Finder. And now what I want to do is go ahead come back to our video I'm gonna grab our keyword out of here and then come back to this I'm gonna go ahead and rename it to coffee shop La Grand Oregon I'll just put thumbnail there okay and now we can uh, you need to verify your uh, YouTube channel before you can upload a thumbnail, unfortunately. So I'm not going to be able to upload that one. I forgot on this channel. Um, I'll have to verify verify this account. But you you get the gist here. Right here on your verified account, you would have a custom thumbnail. And you could click that. 
and then you could go ahead and upload this image right here right to your YouTube video. So we'll hold off on that, but you get the idea. Uh, Canva, very simple to use. The cool thing about the, the paid version, if you wanna go that route, is you can actually put your logo in there, uh, custom fonts, and there's a lot more features that you can use so you can pump content out quicker. Um, but the free version is good uh, just here and there using it. But if you're pushing out content throughout the day, all day, every single day, uh, I would suggest using possibly using the, the paid version just for those reasons. Um, so we'll go ahead and close that. You know how to create your thumbnail now. Also, thumbnail uh, maker on the phone. Let me just show you this really quick here. This uh, application right here, it's, it looks like this on the iPhone. I don't know if you can see this, uh, but it's called Thumbnail Maker. And it's on, uh, I have this on my iPhone, and I do know they have it on Android as well, just called Thumbnail Maker. Uh, you can create really good thumbnails, and they also have a video editing software that you can put on your phone as well um, that, uh, uh, that you can create videos and stuff, just like we saw right here on uh, Lumen 5 right on your phone so you can create these thumbnails I do this a lot on the go and I create a bunch of thumbnails and then I can just transfer them to my computer and upload them to videos however I however I see fit so um, moving on we'll go ahead and publish this so we got all of our tags we have uh, a good little description here the longer the description um, sometimes can be a little bit better uh, you can have up to uh, 5,000 characters in there um, and then the title right here we got the title with the keyword in it make always make sure your keyword is in your title um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and we'll just come down here and select I'm gonna hit select this one as the thumbnail this is just a screenshot that YouTube populated for a free thumbnail to use so I'm just gonna go ahead and let that load right over here we'll just give that a second there we go uh, and We'll go ahead and publish this video and what we want to do at this point is go ahead and share your video across all these platforms uh, because that's going to help your rankings it's going to help your search rankings it's going to help YouTube realize uh, that there's all these outbound links coming to it and once you start getting engagement on these other platforms also you will start your rankings will start to go up as well so what we're going to do is I'm just going to open up we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and copy this uh, one other thing as well let's see if I can grab this um, one other thing as well on your videos it's really good even if you're just talking to have transcribed this type of text because uh, the YouTube can see this information on the screen as well as it can hear it so you could do a voiceover over the top of this video um, using a server there's a free um, video editor for the for your laptop or desktop computer it's called DaVinci uh, I'll go ahead and put that down in the links below um, DaVinci is a full-blown uh, studio grade uh, video editing software a lot like Final Cut Pro which is what I use but if you don't want to go out there and spend a lot of money it's a free a free uh, video editor so you could actually import this video into a service like that and go ahead and do a voiceover over the top of it um, add your own royalty free music or music you have permission to use whatever that is uh, do your own little commercial basically and go ahead and upload that because any way that you can have YouTube hear your keyword uh, they need to be able to hear it, they can see it, and they can see it in your title, description, relevancy, and in, in your tags. Like I said, tags aren't super important anymore. I have videos that have tons of views on them that I didn't even put a tag in there because I uploaded it uh, straight from my phone and I forgot. Um, but you can definitely rank without using tags, but I always use them just uh, to keep things congruent with my own business. That's just what I've been doing for years so I continue to teach that and that's what I personally do so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up a new tab here and we'll go ahead and choose YouTube and then I'm just gonna go ahead and put this in we'll just see if this pops up 
yet. Yep, right here. So this here it is, number one, a coffee shop, La Grande, Oregon. You can see number one spot on YouTube right away. If I go ahead and click this, uh, this is the, um, see I'm not even logged in. I'm in a completely different browser, Safari. Uh, so now you can see I've completely ranked to the first page of Google or of YouTube uh, right away uh, using this method. And you know, if I click the websites right here, um, this will take me right to the websites. Like I said, if you if you are uh, putting your links in YouTube, make sure that your tracking information is on your page. Uh, that you have at least a pop up somewhere to collect emails on that uh, landing on that website or landing page. That way, your videos um, traffic that's coming to your site doesn't get go to waste. You want to be able to retarget those people and track those people later on. Um, so you can see, let's go over to Google here, and we'll see, sometimes Google takes a couple more days to show up on the search results on the page, but we'll just go ahead and search for a keyword here. Um, yep, there it is right there, first page. Uh, you can see all these people here uh, are, you know, we got Joe's Beans Coffee here, but all these people are definitely ahead of us because they're on the Google business page. But we could work our way up. Uh, we might not get past Yelp. Uh, those ones are kind of tough to get past, but they don't have videos. So um, you could also create, if you have a Yelp account, you could create another video going over some of your Yelp reviews and mention your keyword in the Yelp reviews. And sometimes you could embed your video right on your Yelp account uh, from YouTube also, which can help you surpass those rankings with video. So um, I could go ahead and share this video on my Yelp account. You know, maybe we could kind of get past that. Um, this is just all free strategies right now. There's a lot of different ways you can start getting um, backlinks to your videos. And backlinks are uh, different websites with authority that a lot of people visit with your YouTube video link on it um, that points back to your YouTube video. So that's why I said to go ahead and share uh, in every single in every single one of those social networks that you can share across from YouTube directly um, go ahead and share you'd be surprised I've been sharing stuff across different platforms for since since I started um, and one example is that a lot of people don't know about is Pinterest um, you know sharing sharing your content on Pinterest is has helped me out tons you can see right here I have 9,000 I have 9,000 monthly viewers and I have 600 engaged people every single month just on Pinterest and all I do is share share my content right to Pinterest so uh, you can see the value of sharing across these platforms um, make sure to do that don't skip that step uh, don't skip the thumbnail step uh, you know some sometimes I won't do thumbnails uh, but you can see even this video here I didn't do a thumbnail on and I was still able to rank right before your eyes in, uh, in on this video so um, that is one way that you can if you're a local business you can go out there and start ranking your videos if you did one of these videos every single day for 30 days and you had 10 10 views on each video you're you're probably going to get a lot of traffic uh, especially if you started doing some giveaways incorporating those keywords into the video to where you're uh, maybe mention this video when you come in and you'll get 10% off this product uh, or if you're a lawyer maybe 10% off consulting or a free hour of consulting uh, it when you mention you found this video on YouTube and then also uh, another thing too is it's good to put a call to action like at the end of this video where it says share this video um, make sure to put a uh, let's come back over here I want to show you the end card so we'll go ahead and come over to the um, to the YouTube studio and a lot of this stuff has changed um, so what we can do is we'll just come in here to videos let's see if uh, cards down here and in screens. So in screens are great because you can put a call to action at the end of your video. Uh, so maybe I want to add an element. We want to add subscribe. Okay, so 
so I want to put my channel right there so that somebody will go ahead and share it and then maybe we want to add another video and you can choose you know a specific video or best for the viewer uh, most recent upload uh, whatever that is uh, I just like to use that one there so we can go ahead and throw this on here as well maybe we'll stick that we'll stick this over here just like that um, and you'll find a lot of templates as well out there you can download uh, free templates to add at the end of your video um, but this is a really quick way at least to get something on uh, on your video we'll go ahead and sh uh, save this uh, for people so now they know to share the video and then they could subscribe or they could go ahead and click your next video that you upload uh, right there um, so that's a really great way to add a call to action at the end of your video so you can go ahead so they the the person watching the video knows to share it and then they can view your next video and also subscribe by clicking on that um, so we'll just come over back over to uh, back over here we'll go back over to YouTube I'm gonna grab this keyword again we'll see if we moved up a little bit uh, and also the more I share this I could go out there and share this across more platforms maybe some Facebook groups are great if you can find some coffee lover groups maybe there's a, a local group in La Grande Oregon or wherever you're based at um, you can go ahead and share your your little video and go ahead and get some some traffic that way so we're still on front page here um, and like I said, the more the more you share this out there, the better it will be. The more the you'll keep the ranking longer, and you'll go ahead and uh, and start getting traffic to that keyword. So now what I could do is go out there and Joe Beans Legrand Menu. So this is the same guy. So I could go out there and put this exact same uh, menu inside of another video, maybe on Lumen Five or however I want to create that. And just keep pushing out this content. Maybe another video for Joe Beans La Grande Oregon reviews. I could do another video on that. Um, and this goes across every single business that you're in locally. Uh, you can target pretty much any any city that that you're in. You can really target your own keywords there. And by putting that La Grande Oregon in there, or La Grande or whatever your city name is, really helps you rank quick. YouTube and Google really like to rank those type of keywords. So that is a great uh, way to start go ahead and do that uh, we're gonna kinda move on to the next topic here uh, and that is the hobby sites so you'll notice we're just gonna go ahead and pull up and go ahead and close Safari so we're just gonna do a quick search on YouTube and I'll show you some different uh, examples of hobbies uh, so and what we can do, I'm going to show you another strategy here real quick uh, to find to find different uh, different topics. So maybe um, yeah, we'll go alpaca alpaca farm, okay? So maybe I'm an alpaca farmer and I want to share that that hobby on the internet, okay? So we can see with trends.google.com, if we put in that search term. We can actually see, you know, for the United States or worldwide, uh, you know, we could target worldwide or locally, but you can see most of the uh, traffic, the most of the searches come from New Zealand, then Estonia, Ireland, United Kingdom, Australia, and um, USA is not even, the USA is number seven on the, on the list here. Uh, but what we can do is these related topics here are different things people search for. So you could find different ideas to target those same people. Um, and breakout means that it's starting to get a lot of volume, uh, a lot of search volume. So you could put in your your uh, your hobby up here and kind of see what people are searching for to give you some ideas for different content. And these are different related queries. So these are actually different. You could actually create a keyword video for each one of these search terms and I can bet you that you'll be able to uh, rank on every single one of these um, and you can see with my keywords everywhere tool I can see the keyword searches alpaca farm Maryland I feel like that would probably be an easy one just because it has that city name in it and there's probably not a lot of other uh, YouTube videos out there with with uh, that the, you know alpaca farm Maryland um, bluebird alpaca farm maybe I do a review on that 
Um, so you need to find a way, whatever your hobby is, to incorporate some of these trending, uh, these trending searches. These are all breakout searches, so they're all getting a lot of volume. Um, you know, all these different things here, you can go ahead and uh, target. So endless, endless amounts, endless amounts of ideas. The second place to get ideas for a hobby channel to start ranking uh, would be Quora. And Quora is a place that you can go and ask questions and you can also answer questions. So this is probably one of the best places that I've actually utilized to, uh, to, to start up different campaigns and get the word out about different niches and topics that I'm, that I'm working with. So if I typed in here alpaca, alpaca farm, for example, what are the economics of alpaca farming? These are all people asking questions about alpacas. Uh, I could come in here and I could make a video and then I could put it on YouTube and then I could actually embed it and share the link right to a response to this question. I could come through here and I could answer all these different questions on my niche, on my hobby site, and we'll start to get traffic right away. Um, with all these different questions, if you're answering people given value, people are going to follow you and people are going to subscribe to your channel because you're actually answering questions that are being asked. Um, and this is a really good way to start getting traction on your channel um, because obviously on your own channel you want to be able to do things that you want to do, but you obviously have to do things that are going to get you traffic also. So you want to start you know, looking at questions being asked in your niche. Maybe I'm a kite flyer. So if I put in kites, maybe I like kites. Uh, so, you know, there's all these different things that I could come in here and answer and go ahead and share with these people um, where you can go ahead and get tons of other eyes on that link and start to get traffic to your video. Plus, YouTube also likes to see uh, your YouTube video links on other websites. <coughs> Quora is an amazing place to go out there pretty much for any any business. You know, we were just talking about um, uh, coffee shops, you know. You know, maybe coffee shops in Oregon. What's the worst coffee shop in Oregon? What is the best shop, a coffee shop in Oregon? You could put up your own video, you know. It all goes back to... Uh, to just answering those questions that people are really answering out there that are really popular right now and and um, that'll help you actually start to get traction on your channel and if you if you do uh, you know at least one of these videos every couple days you'll start to get pretty good traction and start to build that community around your channel and start to get subscribers people that that like you and then mix in your own personal content you don't always need to be focusing on keywords and and trying to rank you want to be able to create original content as well so make sure to incorporate that into your channel and uh, you know post original content don't think about uh, the keywords the don't think about ranking um, sometimes those videos actually go go viral on their own uh, if you hit the right if you hit the right topic hit the right subject in the Google brain might see something on your video that might send it viral so Keep a mixture of trending topics in your niche and um, and then also your own personal content uh, and then also maybe some behind the scenes uh, type of stuff, maybe a little bit of uh, some vlog style where people really get to know you personally. Um, you don't always need to be talking about your specific niche. Sometimes people in your niche have the same interests outside of that niche as well. And that can really create a stronger bond between you and your audience. Um, and if and if you can do that, your channel will really grow. It will really grow quickly, and YouTube will notice that and will start to push you. Uh, the more views you start to get naturally, the more authority you'll get. So videos will start to rank much easier as well. Uh, so this is a great place to go to actually start to start building a channel right away. And then you you know you can utilize Lumen Five if you want if you don't want to be on camera. I know a lot of people don't like to do that. Um, you could write an article. You could just write a response and then put it through. Uh, you know, post it on the Medium. Um, let me show you Medium real quick. This is another this is another spot where you can go. 
to post and I'm just gonna sign in real quick I utilize medium a lot it's a really high authority website uh, when you post your links on here it really helps you what you can do is actually write a story and then go ahead so if I grab this link right here if I open this this story up and I went ahead if it was a long long answer to one of these questions on Quora I could go ahead and put that through uh, Lumen 5 and come up with a cool little video and then use some of the free images that they have copyright free um, and put together a little video and then post it and then share it obviously um, another site to get free images to use is Pexels uh, you can use Pexels to put you know you can use any of these images anywhere you want so if I put in um, alpaca farm, we'll see if anything comes up. So yeah, I could utilize some of these, uh, you know, some of these, some of these, these uh, alpaca images here, and um, you know, put it put it in the video, copy in my computer, and drag them into Lumen Five, customize a little video with the text that I did from that article that I imported from Medium, and pump out a little video put it on YouTube very very simple to uh, really start going and it's really important that you um, stay figure something out that's gonna keep you consistent I see too many people out there that just feel like they need to choose they need to choose something that is viral and if you can do that great if you can stay motivated to keep posting content in a category that you're not really that interested in by all means go ahead and do that you know I do that all the time like I I've got around 70 different channels that I run now um, and you know a lot of those are mostly because they're popular and they get sales um, so if you if you are not the type of person that can stay motivated on a channel and you get distracted because it's not something you're really interested in you should choose something that some weird some weird niche about yourself so maybe um, you know you really like you really like thimbles you really like sewing thimbles you'd be surprised how many people out there uh, actually go out there and try to find people that like sewing thimbles um, I actually run a candle lover site um, that's what affiliate site I've ran since 2015 as well and it's people that just like candles and you'd be surprised how many different affiliate products there are in the candle industry as well so to think you just have to find something that's trending mainstream that's really not the case you can go out there and choose anything and then hop over to google uh, trends.google.com uh, do some research and then come over to Quora do some research and see just how popular those topics are and start making videos around those topics and you will start to see results if you can be consistent um, so the next thing we want to talk about in uh, here in the course is affiliate marketing for ranking videos and affiliate marketing for YouTube is getting more and more popular there's a lot more people out there doing it um, so what we can do I'm just going to show you some examples of different different things that are let's see we'll just go ahead and put in um, Google note review for example um, so we got all these different things popping up uh, all these most of these people are all affiliate marketers so any type of these review channels that you see out there are typically affiliate marketers um, so we'll just go ahead and click this guy Writing's not that. So if we scroll down here into his uh, into his description, um, you know we'll find some links. We'll just go to his website and see what this is. So swipe uh, swipe Steve's toolkit. So he he promotes a service, so you can download it. And chances are you have to put in your email. You'll get on his email list, and then he'll start to target you. Um, he'll try to sell you different products that that are related because he knows that you're interested in the information you saw on the video because you came to his website um, after you watched the video and input this information so this is a really great way to actually go out there and start making money right away without needing to house products or um, 
you know inventory and stuff like that you can actually uh, build some review some review videos and this again goes back to my tactic with like lumen 5 if you don't want to be on camera you could use a site like lumen 5 to go out there find a whole bunch of reviews and just put them together in a video um, put some different images of that product um, some different copyright free images that kind of uh, get the emotions going with people and really make a nice looking video so if we watch uh, that easy but grammarly so can help load. this sentence is grammatically someone asked me on the channel if google keep is better than evernote <laughs> So, so this guy does his own videos. He's on camera, um, and looks like he's doing good. Got 255,000 subscribers here, and um, and he probably makes a really good living off of of uh, affiliate products. We'll just go to his channel and see what he's got inside here. Online file. Sh so, how to make money online? So here's here's one. You are interested. So if we go down here and click, you know, again, he's got something else independent income through affiliate marketing. Um, he is an affiliate marketer, so he has a course where he teaches uh, how to make passive income with affiliate marketing. So, you know, he's he's doing all these different types of videos because he knows that they're popular. You know, one video he was talking about the Google Note, and the next video online he's talking sharing, about sir. making money online. And then, you know, we got some other things here asana work manager you know he's just reviewing all these different products and you know google basic photos google drive google calendar um all these different things back to school let's take a look at this one let's see what this is it's got... okay so he's got another page where you got all of his all of his stuff product showcase latest showcase so what he's done here is he's really created a good affiliate site um, looks really clean but he's given you direction to purchase different products that he gets a commission for so this is like a good uh, example of a variety site so you know he's got products he's got courses he's got speaking stuff vlogs he's got demos um, so he he's really dialed in uh, the way he presents all of his affiliate products uh, even though there's a variety of different affiliate products he's made them really work well with his website so you can um, go out there and create a website like for example this is one I use uh, trendy cheese.com so this is an affiliate site that I run it's just tons of different affiliate products and you've probably seen sites like this uh, you might get targeted for these type of sites but you know a lot of this stuff just looks natural it looks like an article but if somebody clicks into these then they'll get sent to an affiliate link so you know I did this article in here um, and if somebody clicks on it video presentation it takes them to my affiliate link right here hi I'm Michael Morris and in this video presentation okay so that this is how you make money ranking videos for affiliate marketing and really it's all about uh, finding what people are looking for also solving those problems so that's a lot um, way easier way to sell a product than going out there and just going willy-nilly and just posting links everywhere and spamming people you want to find out what questions people are asking uh, and one good place to do that if you're interested in affiliate marketing is uh, I'm gonna scroll down here to cbsnooper.com um, this is where you can actually come to find products for clickbank and find out what products are working right now so you can see the top clickbank products these are all affiliate products that you can go out there and promote and the cool thing about this site let me show you one thing is in account settings you can go ahead and put your clickbank id so i have my clickbank id right inside here and if I come over here and explore the product, so if I got some new products, uh, we got rising products, we'll see what this new product is here. So if I click on this, it'll take me to this page. It'll show me, you know, overall rank uh, since yesterday. It looks like this one just came out, first seen two days ago. So it looks like it came out just a couple days ago. 
So this might be an opportunity to try something. Um, something when, it, when they think something's new, a lot of people will start searching for it. And in affiliate marketing, you wanna try to be the first to actually uh, get a product out there. It's the easiest way to get ranking on YouTube. If you're looking to rank your YouTube videos for affiliate marketing, you need to be right on top of the trends, like stuff that's coming out right now. If a, a product comes out um, an hour ago, you wanna do a video on it and get your link in there right away. If you do not have an affiliate link, I do this sometimes. Sometimes I'll do a review on a product even though I don't have an affiliate link and I'll just link it straight to the product. I don't even care that that traffic's going to the product because that's giving views and watch time to my channel. And I get subscribers from that too as well. So um, if you don't have a product, you can still do a review and use that to your advantage to get traction on your website. You could also in the bottom of the description say check out you know this other YouTube video of mine. And I would always point to another YouTube video because you, uh, uh, YouTube likes to see YouTube links in the description and that'll kind of help push that video and can help you get that the video that's linked in that description a little push as well just a little bit of link juice on the side so you'll notice I just click that generate uh, hop link and I can go ahead and copy my link this is the link I can go out there and share across the internet put in my YouTube descriptions and start getting commissions so if I go ahead and click enter here it's gonna go ahead and take me to this new product that just came out so this is the one that just came out um, so so this is this is something I could read and maybe do a video on again I could grab this this uh, this link right here and I could put it through lumen 5 and get a nice script video and go ahead and put that on YouTube and then also promote this as a link so when somebody comes here they can come down to the bottom and purchase it and then I get a commission so that's how you really make affiliate uh, commissions uh, ranking videos online I do have a, a an affiliate course that you guys can check out I am wor I'm currently working on some updates for that as well as I'm speaking right now but it should be out very soon uh, so make sure and check that out I'll put a link down below as well if you want to check that out and I go into more detail about affiliate marketing um, so the next topic here is going to be on ecom and this is you know somebody selling products on Amazon so for example um, I like let's go over to uh, amazon.com okay and and we can just find a product say we have our own personal product so I'm just gonna kinda choose one here maybe we're selling um, maybe we're selling these teeth whitening pins okay say this is my product right here and I want to rank this on YouTube to start getting traction and start getting views to this page of mine right here so what I can do is actually just copy the product name teeth whitening pin the, just the generic name and then I could come over to I'm gonna come back over to trends.google.com and I'm gonna go ahead and put this product inside the search so now I know exactly where top searches are coming from within the United States maybe my sh product I only want to ship to the United States uh, or maybe you're in another country you can select your country here or worldwide depending on what your Amazon business is um, so I could find out exactly what what states are getting the most searches so you know I could come through here and see um, who's who's searching for that the most and and where exactly uh, which is a good a good idea to do this because what you can actually do is start creating videos targeting these cities like New Jersey teeth whitening pin review uh, or best best uh, um, you know you can incorporate this this name into your description and your title somehow New Jersey New Jersey reviews okay New Jersey reviews best teeth whitening pin um, so you could go out there and start creating videos on on each individual city that you want to target uh, you can also obviously start creating some of these videos right here talking uh, going over some of these trending searches so Bello Beauty teeth whitening pin you could do a comparison um, what however it is you can go ahead and 
utilize these different searches for um, to get rankings because these are all breakouts as well. These are all breakout queries. So these are all searches on YouTube that are really popular right now. Um, so doing videos on this type of stuff is really good and you can kind of browse through these. How to use a teeth whitening pen, there's a good idea. Dr. Bright teeth whitening pen. You know, these get, you know, this has gone up 120%, 500% in the last, you know, few, uh, the last month. So this is the past 12 months. So I could even change this to uh, maybe in the last, we want the last, uh, let's go the past day. We want really trending stuff. So Colorado, uh, Moon Kindle Jenner teeth whitening pen. Okay. So that one might be a tough competitor, obviously. But you could come out there and create uh, a YouTube video um, promoting your product. And what I would suggest if you're doing this type of stuff is you could do a comparison. But make a, make a channel where you do these types of reviews for your own Amazon products that doesn't make it obvious that you're the, the owner of the product. Because you can actually um, do comparison videos and then put a link to your product in there as well without seeing biased um, because you don't want to seem biased obviously you don't want to be the owner and, and then compare yourself you want to seem like a customer um, and you can get some of your reviews put in there as well and showcase those reviews and then just do a really honest uh, comparison between you know something like this and your own product and this can go across anything across uh, across Amazon um, another thing to do is if you have this product right here you want to look down here in the frequently bought together section. Uh, so, for example, toothpaste or whatever, um, you could f do some research and find out what uh, what people are saying about you know toothpaste, you know, mixed with these pins, whatever it is. You can come up with different ways to incorporate these different things. This really isn't a good example on this one, but um, a lot of times you'll have some. Let's see, go to best sellers and see if there's something. We'll just find, let's find something kind of random here because a lot of people selling on Amazon are weird. So like wire connectors. So Sam selling these wire connectors and you know, we could come down here and uh, shrink, a shrink, uh, shrink wrap kit and then some more other types of connectors here. We could do a lot of different research. And like I said, uh, do comparison videos where you show all, showcase all three of these products in a certain area, wherever that is, uh, using trends, you know, Google Trends to find out exactly where those searches are coming from, and then do kind of a review video and show showcase the product in a way. Um, it it uh, videos rank really well, and they search and people in search tend to gravitate towards video. So even if it's not a super great video people being able to visually see something that is nice looking, something like that's on Lumen 5, um, you can really start to see good results. They'll at least click over and see what you have on Amazon there. Um, and if you're an Amazon affiliate, you could actually put your affiliate link to those other comparison products and then get a commission if they buy that product as well. Um, so there's a lot of different ways to utilize this. And if you have an e-com store, we'll just, for example, go if you have an e-com store, I would suggest looking that up here as well and just finding out where people are searching for that information and start making videos around those uh, searches. And then you can also utilize Quora um, for these Amazon products as well. So if I was, uh, I don't even know, B connectors. I don't even know if this will, uh, what is the difference between USB and a micro B connector? Um, USBs, these aren't the same as those B connectors, but you could find pretty much any product that you want, uh, almost any product, uh, if you did enough research here on Quora where somebody might be asking questions and you could go ahead, talk about your product and go ahead and place your, your link to Amazon in there as well as do a, you know, a YouTube video, um, explaining it. And I always suggest doing the YouTube video just because that gives a little value before you send them to the product. You always, that's like a landing page. Your video is like a landing page for people to come to where you try to push them 
to the link in your description and get them to buy that product. So um, those are just some ways that I really utilized um, ranking videos for these different types of businesses out there, hobbies, whatever it is, to start getting results right away. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this first video. I will have more updates coming soon, so make sure to stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.